everybody, Lockborn here, and welcome to another episode of Road to Raid Ready with my good buddy Timwig. Now, Timwig has done quite a lot in the last week since we last saw him, but most importantly, I got an announcement. Yeah, I know, looks bad, because I still cannot get the airport set for a Guardian. Um, requires me having a Guardian and actually doing stuff on it. Won't happen in the near future, so... Um, I got some... Uh, I colored the Pelennor set and the Pelennor boots, and I'm using the 65 Warden uh, BG shoulders and everything. I wanted to give it sort of a Spartan kind of look. Um, it's not done yet, I'm working on it, but it's the biggest achievement this week. I'm kidding. Um, so let's start with trade points. I have not done anything so far for trade points, and I have a very good excuse why. Timwig is now a proud member of a new kinship. Oh, kinship is not new, he's new to the kinship. So, which means that Timwick has actually been raiding. Yes, yes. I know this is Road to Raid Ready, but my tune will not be Raid Ready until it has DPS gear and tank gear of the highest quality. I can get it right now. So, uh, so far successfully I've tanked every single boss in Throne, except the fourth one. So, um, okay, uh, let's start with the gear. I got most of the pieces, well not most, I got all of the pieces ready that I could right now before getting uh, tier 2 challenge gear. I got uh, 4 pieces of Pelennor set with 2 pieces tier 1 set for tanking. Of course it's uh, all in Supremes except a slight uh, swap piece that I'll still use uh, in jewelry. Uh, as you can see, my stats, uh, my mastery is still low. I've only managed to get uh, a single upgrade in the agility department. I know I said I was going to do some deeds, but the next day a friend of mine um, invited me to do a lot of BS and quiz runs so I can get my gear. And I just couldn't refuse that because um, I can always farm the deeds and I can always get the true rank points. But it was quite nice of him to help me out with it, and uh, thank you, Mirror, for that. As you can see, we got most of the gear done. Uh, Master is still low, but it will increase once I get uh, the couple more agility tomes, might tomes, upgrade my relics, and so on. Um, I did upgrade the legacies by a slight bit as you can see I kept the light damage and uh, I put a lot into shield mastery uh, shield gambit line healing I wanted to max that out uh, because I'm running silent street I'm doing a uh, draid and uh, I think that would be the most important stat right now um, also I did cheat slightly, um, didn't want to do all of the Fangorn dailies and rep grind and all of that leaf farming, so uh, I still have one of it. I, I used the Ithil coins that I got into the raid and I bartered for a defensive, for an uh, offensive legendary item, uh, item title. Uh, as you can see here are most of the defensive one like crit, uh, mitigations, main stat mitigations, etc. But I'm not want to use that. Uh, so I went with the physical mastery upgrades that you can find in Fangorn by doing the leaves. So I got both of them done. Also upgraded the DPS on the sword by I think it was three tiers or four tiers? Three tiers, yeah, three tiers since we last saw him. So uh, this is coming along nicely. Once I start doing more raids I will be able to afford more lethal more coins and more starlit crystals from it. Um, shield is still not changed. I did the first three bosses of Throne on Thursday, and no pugs want to invite anybody with locks on uh, every night because they they're afraid of uh, moving locks. Understandably, I do not uh, blame them. So I still haven't uh, changed my shield. <laughs> I am sadly wearing this still. So that will that will come along. I'm not uh, not in a rush. 
um, critical defense is um, yeah right now like it's not uh, really high I don't really need it for raid but I still have a tiny bit of critical defense from my shield uh, I don't think that it will go any higher than this yes it will definitely stay at this incoming healing currently is on 23.8 percent and that is mainly because I refuse to go more than uh, three to four legacies as you can see I have three uh, essences in three greater incoming healings I might swap them for supreme tier sevens because of the resist rating it's quite nice uh, since I haven't upgraded my virtues yet uh, this is the biggest upgrade, I don't think I talked about it. Uh, on Lockborn, on my main void, and I believe I've done hundreds of SS's, and I never got one. But the first SS I did with my new kinnies, well, they weren't my kinnies yet, but the first SS I did with them, I was the only agility class, and this was the thing that dropped, so it was like ninth or 10th run. I'm <laughs> super happy about it. I, I couldn't, I was dumbfounded, like I couldn't believe it actually happened it's not huge upgrade over the raid one but it's an upgrade and uh, I like the bubble like I really like it, it kind of makes me reminisce of the great river uh, pockets that we that I used to use on my main one for jewelry um, I was thinking since I'm a recruit and I'm not still eligible for loot which is how most kens do it nowadays uh, I want to be able to be competitive and to have good gear so I don't drag my whole team down. So I said, you know what? I hate the new jewelry. I absolutely hate it because I think it's very rude of Turbine to put in uh, new jewelry like three months after the raid comes out and make all of that uh, kind of pointless. But you know what? Fuck it. I might not agree with it, but I kind of need them, so I spent a good uh, chunk of time uh, farming the flowers. Now, I want to share something so you guys don't ma do not make the same mistake as I do. Uh, I didn't really read which flower is for which piece of jewelry, so I thought that I just needed crimson for everything. And I gathered about, I think it was 300 of each, and I was like, damn, I can exchange everything now for crimson. And I did that with the baskets, and for all, every 30 flowers I got maybe 2 or 3 crimsons. It was horrible afterwards when I found out that I need, like, Verdant for pocket, uh, for a ring or bracelet and uh, Umber for, you know, it was, uh, it just took the wind out of me. So please make sure to figure out which flower you need if you do want to keep on farming the flowers for your new gear. Uh, it's, it's a long, it takes about three to four hours to get all of them. It's not that long, but uh, just hopefully I'll save somebody's time. And effort. Uh, I didn't choose to change this ear, this uh, piece, mainly because I got a feeling that uh, within the next week or so, once I pass my two-week uh, threshold of being a kinney, to be actually be, el be eligible for loot, I'm gonna get a pocket. And if you're not familiar with the warden pocket item, it gives a slot with four thousand. Uh, 4,400 tactical mid, plus all the same stats that you actually see here. So, these two pieces that I currently have on are gonna be replaced with uh, Supreme Morales. As you can see right now, my uh, physical and tactical are pretty much kind of overcapped once you use scrolls. Uh, but, uh, as I said, I have not worked in my virtues. They're still very low. So, once these get capped, I will go into getting uh, rid of these two and just adding the pocket. I think that uh, this is my opinion. Most people might not agree with it, but I believe in having the mids capped before scrolls. Now, you might ask me why, because when you use the scrolls, they're going to be overcapped. Well, let's say you die in the middle of a fight and then you get rest. You're not going to be able to use the scrolls and you're going to continue need to continue fighting. So, I kind of want that mitigation set. And for Warden, unless you actually use 
uh, featured instance sets to replace the full. Uh, it's kind of hard to get that sweet spot of 22.3.5. Uh, so I decided to go over cap. I'm gonna go 23k. I don't care if I need it. Uh, of course, of course, I have divided them as I had previously. I have this. Uh, bracelet here with full tactical mitigations, but when I'm doing stuff like Rakuthas, I can just replace this with a morale or a DPS bracelet. I, I do not have a DPS build yet, so currently this is my only build. Uh, one thing you guys might wonder is, hey Tim, you're on a different server, how did you get all of these essences? Like, did you... what did you do to get them? I'm gonna let you know. Uh, I did some math and... Uh, I calculated that doing the dailies and with my laziness one one or two SS per day, it's gonna take me about 30 days to actually just get the tanking gear done. That's a lot of time. Like, imagine I got all of the gear and it takes me 30 days to move forward with my character. So I, I didn't want that. I, I, I could have continued with my previously gotten majors, but I do not want that. Uh, it, it's gonna be way too long of a farm. I don't have multiple tunes, and I'm most certainly not gonna mooch off anybody. So I went, I talked to some friends, and uh, I moved a couple of uh, Blessing of Valar from Arkenstone. I paid there, I got the gold here. I know it might be in the gray area, but uh, nobody scammed anybody. Everybody was happy in the end of the day, so Turbine, don't care about it. <laughs> Uh, so I bought all of these essences. My morale currently unbuffed is sitting at uh, 52,000. I do plan to be sitting at around 55, 56-ish unbuffed. And that's gonna come from replacing this bracelet with the carving and adding more morale into that. And it's gonna come from using all of the vitality tomes that I still haven't used, but I'm very well intending to do so and uh, slight upgrades from the armor once I change it into supreme and stuff like that but uh, it should be at about 55 56k sweet spot um, I do have some opinions on why did I just buy all of these essences and why didn't I wait for the supreme uh, North Affiliate it's mainly because I don't really think I need them for tanking that is. For tanking, I have the sweet morale, my mids are capped, my mastery is high enough to keep aggro, as proved this week, so I'm not gonna invest further into getting better morale essences until, hopefully, the gear upgrades uh, 210 or wherever we go next. So, next big thing I worked on was getting my crafting up. I got up to Eastament. I'm still in the process of uh, getting Eastament uh, jeweler to with processing, getting it up to max. And I'm not gonna go above Eastament with purchased ingredients, mainly because I will farm it when I'm doing the HD uh, trade points. But one thing I kind of was annoyed with, I start crafting everything and. Uh, this happened. Turbine wants me to purchase the guild every time I, I upgrade it, and simply will not happen. So what I did is I crafted all of the symbols two days ago. As you can see, I they just went off cooldown while I was talking. So I'm gonna craft them again, and I'm gonna shove all of them into my um, bank. And once I go VIP, which should be in about a week to two, two weeks. I'm gonna use all of them at once, and that way I will get my guild up. Uh, it will, is, if my memory serves me well, it takes about two weeks to three weeks to actually get uh, one relic out from the crafted relics, but what I'm gonna do is, once I reach the master tier or the supreme tier, I'm gonna barter the Westfold relic. It's 10 agility and about 100 crit rating. It's not that much, not that uh, low. So I'm gonna slowly upgrade it as I go up so I don't lose that much. Because trust me, that this is valuable stats. It's a lot of stats. It's uh, 
600 of each with uh, nice agility bonus and I really need that further um, apart from that Timwick has been pretty stagnant in the virtue department uh, some people asked me during this week and guys thank you like I, I really appreciate it and I don't mind if you want to come chat on every night and if you want to tell me I'm doing this wrong I'm doing this right you're impressed by this you don't like this as some people have I fully encourage it come chat with me unless I'm doing a raid or something I'm always free to talk and uh, we can talk about whatever you want warden related uh, I want to talk about my class trade points uh, some people have asked me how do I plan to trade further I'm missing 12 uh, 12 trade points so that's six I can put into other lines and what I plan to do is I plan to use three in here to get the max dot critical damage and I plan to put the last two into lasting impression uh, what this does is it makes my bleeds and my light bleeds uh, dot one plus further and it does the expire uh, burst damage which is uh, as most wardens have found out by now big blade is now actually the biggest hitting skill we have single target with the raid set so this is gonna significantly improve my tanking abilities and my dps output uh, maxing out the healing here getting make sure, making sure i get dc uh this is supposed to be four i have one extra trade point i didn't know where to put it so i put it here for now uh light damage mitigations this counter attack as you can just know resets on evade and partial evade resets all of your masteries really good indefatigable restore base heal celebration block rating perfect hot pulses now I never surrender. I do not. You do not need anything beyond this. Determination, conviction gives you a buff. Doesn't matter if you're already capped. It doesn't go over the cap, except the two percent that you actually get from the skill. For the free peoples, once again, your fellowship is capped for mitigations. Doesn't matter. Uh, stand your ground. Uh, this is something that I've been going back and forth with. Uh, I believe that unless I have enough trade points to spend four into it, that it's not worth it because these uh, 400, 800 are negligible at best and uh, critical defense how many times I gotta pour over this morale tap damage we do not really use morale taps anymore since uh, restorations are ridiculously strong uh, I have 2% desolation mischance which brings it up to uh, 7% I believe Yes, it's 7% mischance with the fear. It cannot hurt. It cannot hurt. And my DPS line. Uh, this is my sort of glass cannon-ish. I, of course, make sure to buff all of the bleeds and the physical mastery. Uh, spear gambit damage only affects actual hits, like the first hit of Spear Virtue and uh, Wall of Steel, etc. It does not affect the bleeds, sadly. So I opted to put in this over the gambit builder damage for now. Um, this is as far as I'm gonna go to in blue. I want the DC and the DC emits in case something happens to the tank or I need to tank in red line with the reset. And after this, I'm gonna put everything into mark target and uh, hopefully momentum. Momentum is nice in one of those fights where you know the tank is gonna pull and you know you're ready for everybody to get concession and rebuttal, minstrel buffs, and you stay in the sailment and you just get your gambit up go into assailment and then what before he pulls you simply go into this stance and you get the buff from it I don't have it traded right now but I will afterwards and another way to trade uh, red line is the debuffing line and I only suggest doing this if you have the level 85 earring get all the bleed damage up get all the physical mastery up light damage dots critical chance that's critical damage, lasting impression. Now you need three to open the recklessness. Some people go Warden's Triumph. I don't believe is actually useful because damage is uh, twelve percent. It's not twelve percent outgoing damage. It's actually twelve percent added to this, which is significantly high already. So you trade red line the same. You just go five here or here, 
you max this out, you max this out, and then once you have the trade points, you max this out as well. Bullseye. And uh, that's pretty much the way you trade if you want to go debuffing line. Um, this is diminished target is good because it increases your light bleed damage output overall, but with rend and uh, ancient craft and pet debuff, uh, most of it it's already going to be feeble and decreasing it further is pointless, so I just go with the light damage dots. Um, next for team week is going to be making sure by the next time we see each other I have all of the trade points gathered, the all 82, that's next on my to-do list. Also, next time we see each other, all of these are going to be at 19, all five of these. Uh, people also ask me about virtues. I use these five virtues, but I also will have swappies for fidelity, valor when I need more morale, and uh, mercy when I need more agility for glass cannon builds, and of course, discipline. So <clears throat> that's all for this week, guys. I kind of hope you enjoyed it. I know it's pretty plain, but there was a lot of stuff I wanted to talk to you guys about and let you know and brag, feel bad about not doing this week. So I wanted to make sure that uh, I actually get everything off my chest that I wanted to get off. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. Once again, Timwig Evernight server. If you want to chat, if you want to criticize me, if you want to give me good feedback, bad feedback, I'm here and I'm down for chatting anytime you guys want. Tips, etc. Oh, one thing, I want to make an announcement. Uh, on Thursday, I believe, I'm gonna do a new series with Timwig called Timwig Tanks. So what that means is we're gonna do record run, I'm gonna record it, and I'm gonna uh, post it for you guys. Then Moomax, record it, post it for you guys. Fado, Unbroken One, everything, Timwig Tanks. And then we'll see where we go from there. So once again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And see you in game or see you next time. Have a great day.